Hi, in this video we're going to look at how we can use Phantom Buster to scrape information from LinkedIn. So in the example we're going to use, we have a spreadsheet of companies. We have the company name, we have the, um, the website, we have a few bits of information. But what we really want to do is we want to find them on LinkedIn so we can connect them, but also scrape the people that work for that company so that we can then target them for marketing. So this is what Phantom Buster enables you to do. You can scrape information from LinkedIn, from Twitter. If we just have a look here on solutions, uh, Sales Navigator, LinkedIn, Google Maps, Twitter, Instagram, and quite a few more. And they have these pre-packaged automations that you can use, and you just have to feed them the information that they need, and then they can scrape the information and just go through. So I'm gonna show you how we can do some LinkedIn, but like I say, if you look down here, YouTube, Reddit, Slack, TikTok, everything is here. So you can try and scrape information. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet we have and then we can look at how we're gonna use that to extract information from LinkedIn. So this is the spreadsheet and in here we have um, yeah, over a thousand names of companies. These are all government approved COVID companies. Uh, we have their region we have their website and we have very little more information but we do have the name so this is what we're going to try and use to look through linkedin and find a linkedin page for those companies so to do that what we need to do first of all is just share this spreadsheet so this is a google sheet and what we're going to do is share it so anyone can see it and we're going to copy the link and we're done at that point so now we can head over to phantom buster and start to use this sheet and the information in the sheet to search LinkedIn and find information. So let's look at how we do that. Okay, so there are quite a few LinkedIn related and this is the one we want. Find LinkedIn company pages from a list of company names. So we're gonna use this one here. So what it's gonna ask us for, we can just put a company name if we just want one to search for, but we can put in a spreadsheet with company names in. So. Let me just go back and get this share link again. So remember, we're just gonna copy this link and we're gonna go across and we're gonna paste this in. So once we've pasted that in, we just click on here, spreadsheet settings. We're gonna leave this blank because it's going to use the first column in the spreadsheet. If your information, your company name is not in the first column, then you can specify the column here. We're all good with that. So we're gonna just say next. And how many spreadsheet rows do we want to process so let's just say we want to do uh, 20 rows per launch and the result file we're just going to put it out to result here so this is the file it's going to output to and we're just going to say we can say we run this repeatedly so we could run it four or eight times a day we can specify particular times of the day that kind of thing for this test i'm just going to do once i'm just going to run it manually so I'm just going to save here now. And then what we can do is just launch this. So we're just going to launch and this is going to take a little while because it takes a bit of time to do that. So let's just give it a few minutes. Okay, if we look now, we can see that's finished. So 20 companies input, isn't it found 17? So not a bad result. And what we can do is look at the results here. So it'll just give us a view of what's what it's found. So these are the LinkedIn company URLs, the description of the company and the information that we need. So this is the query, this is what we gave them and this is what they gave us back. So now if we just click on this. Uh, we have the LinkedIn URL for the company. Okay, so and what we can do is just leave that running. So we can get that running for eight times a day. Just going through that spreadsheet and pulling the information. What we can do then, because we have the LinkedIn URL, so it would be great to get some more information about the company, how many people work for them, how many followers they have, how big they are, this kind of thing. Um, so what we can do is we can use another phantom and chain them together. So let's look at how we can do that. So if we search down, we can find one called LinkedIn Company Scraper. If we click more info here, we can see that it needs to connect to LinkedIn and it also needs a LinkedIn company URL. Well, we've got that now from the previous one. So what we can do, we can say we want to use this and we can connect our LinkedIn cookie 
So to do that, you need to just install, it will tell you here, you just install this little Chrome plugin, you log into LinkedIn, and then you can just click this button and it will just load your LinkedIn cookie, which means it can use your account to then get that information. So we're gonna click save here. And now again, we could put a spreadsheet, we could put the URL of a company, but what we can also do is we can say, well, go to the previous phantom that we created, the one we've just looked at, and use that, use the results from that. So when you find the company, the results go into the results CSV, and then we're gonna use those results to then get more information about the company. So we're just gonna change this to, let's say two here, uh, because I just want this to run quickly. We can also get the JPEG, um, the company logo if we want it. We can extract related company pages, or we can just scrape the information. So again, we're gonna call this results. It's gonna output to a different file. We're gonna click save. We're gonna run it manually. Again, we would schedule that to run three or four times a day. And we're just gonna launch it and then see what the information it comes back with. So just to recap, it's gonna take two companies that it found using the previous automation, and then it's gonna use them to then look up that company URL and get all the information about the company that's available on LinkedIn. So we can see that's completed, it's got two, and if we look at the result file, if we just preview, we can see this is the name of the company, this is their logo, this is their LinkedIn banner, description of the company, their tagline, how many people are following them, their website, phone numbers if it's available, the type of industry they're in, the company size, and what else have we got, just LinkedIn ID, how many employees they have, and various little bits of information. But we have quite a lot in there, so we know the industry, we can then filter by the company size, depending on what, we're, what leads we're trying to generate. What we can also do is then find all the employees that work for that company, get their LinkedIn profile, and then connect to them as well. So we can just keep chaining these together. So a very useful tool, uh, very easy to use. Um, you can set up a free account, 14-day trial. So I suggest you give that a go and play around with it a little bit. And um, yeah, good luck. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. And thank you for listening. See you next time.